Hello, hello. <laughs> Dude, the timing on the music. <laughs> That's crazy. I didn't do anything. Uh, good morning, everybody. Good evening. Good afternoon. How's everybody doing? <laughs> How is everybody doing on this Tuesday morning? All calculated? I mean, not really, but it works out. It works out. The Hand of Blood video is literally the best video of the year. I'm glad you liked it. I am glad you liked it. It's in German, so we're not going to react to it or anything, but uh, yeah. I mean, it's also weird to react to something that you're in, so I don't know. It's Bandless Tuesday? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I, I, I'm like, I'm not sure. Part of me believes we're getting one soon, but the other half just thinks there's a possibility that they just leave it for nationals. I'm not sure. It'd be kind of crazy though. Actually, it would be, wouldn't it be crazy? When was the last one? It was the 1st of January. Nah, there's no way. There's no way. Right? Because if, uh, if we don't get one until Nationals, that would be six months. Has the community ever accurately predicted what day the Battlelist dropped ever? You see, um, actually, yes. We have a 100% success rate at predicting the day that the Battlelist drops. Because, do you know what the secret is? Do you, know the, do, do you want me to tell you the hidden technique that the Yu-Gi-Oh! community has, has been applying? To always be right about when the ban list drops? Listen, the thing is that at a certain point, every single day, we just say it's ban list day, right? And so at some point, we have to be correct. And we just never talk about the, all the days that it didn't happen, right? Like we always just spam, surely today is the day. And then at some point, it really is the day. And then it's great because... We told you. We told you today was the day. This is how we do it as the, as the community. Everyone does this. <laughs> uh, yo, Josh, been watching your VODs. So finally decided to catch a live stream. Started playing Runic Sprite for High and Master Duel. Absolutely loving it. Are there any changes you'd make to that deck now or with the new support dropping in the future? Uh, what's new? What support is coming for for higher runic sprite? Or is are you just referring to like SP Little Knight and stuff like that? Slipe near that kind of stuff. Um, <laughs> Melterless thing with bits. Uh, I also adjusted the I adjusted the volume for bits and and uh, text to speech stuff. So let me know if that's better now. I think it was too low. Uh, I, I haven't played Fur Hire in a while. I have a list. If you remind me later, I can show you the list that I'm currently using in Master Duel that I'm fine with. It's not super fine-tuned, but I can show you what I have. Uh, IP can't lose. Thank you for the gift sub. Appreciate Oh, no. Anonymous gifter gifted the sub to IP can't lose. Okay. So loud is it? Uh, okay, hold up. I can adjust it. I thought it was too low. Oh, you know what it is? I know what it is. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. No subs, no subs. It's too loud. Give me a second. Uh, overlays. I wonder if this is... I wonder if I can adjust it while I'm live, but I should be able to. What alert was too loud? Was it the subscriber alert? Right? Yes, okay, hold up. Give me a second. Um, so the remix, the, the remix thingy that was playing is too loud, yeah? The music. Or what? If it's the race sound, you can make it as loud as we want. <laughs> Look, that's that's you're not that's not helping me right now. 
Yes, the remix. Okay. Uh, I'll turn it down a little bit. Uh, okay, I have half the volume of it. Okay. The so the sub stuff. How how is the volume on that one on the bits that just happened? Fine. Okay. Because that was one of the ones that was way too low, I felt like. The uh, the, the bits stingy, but I, I have adjusted it. So I hope uh, we can test it with the next sub. You guys need to tell me if the next one is also still too loud or if it's fine now. Cam is focused on the wall behind. Well, I mean, what, what do you want me to do? I don't know. Okay, that's still loud. That's still loud, right? Surely. Get rid of the wall. Yeah, that's still too loud. Why is it still too loud? Dude, the volume is at 13%. Uh... The volume was at 13%. Now it's I've changed it to 5. Have you clicked? The, I have clicked save. I have saved. Now it's gigalo. Oh, I know what it is. Ah, uh, I know what it is. I know what it is. Yeah, it's kind of quiet. No, yeah, 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 yeah. Ja, ja. Hold up. It's because, is it because? Hold up. Variation settings. Ah, it's because it was a gift sub. I have to, that's so annoying. I have to adjust the volume for each individual version of a sub. Whether it's a gift sub or a regular sub. Oh man, that's so annoying. Okay. Um, gift sub. Uh, safe variation. Safe variation. <laughs> Dude. Uh, I appreciate old subs, though. Thank you for testing the sub sound with me. I have once again... Hold up. I have adjusted it. Now I have adjusted it. Um, this... I... I hope this is fine now. They are all now at the same volume. Anyways, Tofu TCG, thank you for the five months. Anthem of the World, thank you for the 11. And I don't know, Dave TDE, thank you for the tier one sub. And Codename, thank you for the gifty earlier. Full time streamer, by the way. Look, that, what, what am I doing right now? What am I doing right now? Am I streaming or what? Right, checkmate. Anyways. <laughs> let's, uh, let's begin. Let's begin. Uh, we do the warm-up and then we hop. I'll tell you right what we do today. Let's go. Let's begin. Let us start. Let's actually, let's actually start streaming, huh? So you guys can stop complaining. Uh, those are the... This is a very old card. Um... I don't know the name. It's something eyes, I think, but it's these eyeballs. Yeah, it's these freaking eyes. It's a vanilla or a very weak effect monster, but I don't know what the name is. Monster eye. Yeah. The problem is when you put eye into the thing, it shows you all the blue eyes cards, and that's not something that you ever want to see. Okay, I've never seen this before. Great start. We've spent an entire minute without getting points. Phenomenal. Um, this is World Legacy stuff? But I don't know which one. Guard Dragon Shield? No, it's not. 
Uh, this is Shurig or Bucephalus. Shurig, nice. Okay. Uh, Fortune Lady Earth? No. Fortune Lady Light, then. Light. I feel like that color scheme fits Earth more, but... We stand corrected. I have no idea what that is. Generator boss quest. Uh, wind up bat, I think, is what that is. Yep. Bat. <laughs> Wait, that's Sharon. Uh, oh, I've seen this. It's a trap card. Gemini counter, maybe? No, assault counter. That's the one. You're right. I knew it was something counter. Gemini counter is a different one. Uh, Red dragon? Something scarlight? No. Is it scarlight? Scarlight. It is scarlight. Nice. All right, what do we have here? Looking kind of Rika-y. Rika... Erika? Is it Erika? It's Erika. I thought about Con Con for a second, but it's not Con Con. Um, is that Stana? How do you spell that like this? Uh, uh, that's the elemental hero, um, elemental hero Inferno. Is it Inferno? It is Inferno, yeah. This feels familiar as well, somehow, but I can't, I, I know this one. Well, I've seen it. Is this a Vylon? Oh, Vylon element? Okay, nice. <laughs> Vylon big hole. Yep. This I have not seen before, I don't think. Yep. Ah, uh, this is something fallen roses. Xyz double back. That's that's exactly what I said. That's exactly what I said. That's what I meant, rather. Oh, dark sage. Ah, uh, this is a uh, Vylon as well. D Sigma. That's a synchro, right? Yeah, pretty sure it's a synchro. That's another. I, I, I. It looked like a super heavy, but it's not one of the relevant ones. I don't know those. This feels familiar. Oh, that's a that's a digital bug. The problem is there's no problem. Uh this is like something round table, right? No? Oh yeah, okay. I I it was just lagging. I was like what that what, what else would it be? I don't know what that is. 
The hell is a DZW? Uh, Oli Vest side, thank you for the five months. How is the sub sound now? Is that Dark Verger? Please be Dark Verger. Yeah. Uh, Dog Man. Uh, Pico Falina. Do I know this one? Uh, Circle of... Is it Circle of the Fairies? No. I'm skipping. I don't know what it is. Yeah, no. Okay, we have this dude again. Don't know which one that is. Is it Jar? It's not Jar Robber, is it? Scrounging Goblin. Chucky, thank you for the nine months. Once again, how is the volume on the... Uh, how is the volume on the text-to-speech there? That good? Fine? Okay, good. Is good. <laughs> okay. Uh, is that Honeybot? No, I didn't think so. Oh, they ah, uh, that one. The obelisk card. Is it like this is like energy release, soul release? No, it's not soul release. Blast held by Destiny? Oh. Dude, why now is the Rasp I'm so bad with these anime lore cards that have been printed recently. What's the name of this one? Is that Ancient Chant? Okay, now if we get the Slifer spell, that, that would have been crazy. That would have been a nice clip. Um, Kuri Photon, right? Kuri Vault? Oh, is it Kuri Vault? Ah, okay. Well, if it isn't an ancient gear, then I'm not sure which one it is. Uh, this is a spell, I think. Ancient gear, uh, ancient gear bomb? No. Blast? None of this exists. Explosive? Explosive. Shout out to someone said clink clang. <laughs> uh, that's Elma. Uh, mysterious puppeteer, I think. Yeah. All right. That is. It's not heavy storm. It's the one where she's hanging on to this one tree. Uh, Gust, yeah. Oh god. How am I supposed to find Gust? I can't. It's literally not here. Because there's so many... You can't guess it. It's impossible! That's, that's a scam. That's such a scam. Because the list is limited in, uh, in, in length of how many options it'll give you, and because there's so many freaking Die Gusto cards, you just can't find this card. Sick. Well done. Top level programming. <laughs> uh, I don't know what this is. Is that the floodgate searcher? Triamid Sphinx? No, that's not the one I meant. 
Okay, that's not what I meant. I meant the guy that searches continuous traps. Uh, we've got Crystal Beast. Uh, I, I, this is not Sapphire, Sapphire Pegasus. That is not... Um, miracle? Crystal Miracle. Okay, nice. Uh, who are you? I don't know. No, I don't know what that card is. Probably a spell trap. Okay, yeah, no. Is that Dion? It is Dion, right? Masked Hero Dion. Uh, this... Probably a Blackwing. Yep. Dude, there's... Literally, there are Blackwings out there that I, have, I swear I have never seen them before. There's so many. Uh, this is something mummy. Um, it's not call of the mummy. Oh, is it poison mummy? No. I don't know what it's called. I know exactly what it's, what it looks like. Yeah. Wandering mummy. Unfortunate. We have another very old card here. Oh, God. This is something Thorns. Queen of Thorns? Dark World Thorns? No. Rose of Dun? Dun. This one? Oh. Oh, Stardust Charge Warrior. I didn't even... I, the, the reason I don't recognize Charge Warrior is because it hasn't been printed in a real rarity. It's always uh, destroyed by gold foiling. So you don't look at it very close because your eyes will hurt. Oh, God. We have a minute left to get 700. Let's go. Come on. That's possible. Surely. What is this? Is that glamour? Or sheet? Sheet. Oh, I think that's an edge imp. Saw? Yeah. Okay, I, I think we get... Ah, this is um, the ninja. Um, armed ninja. There we go. 700 at least. Uh, wait, it's not Zeus, is it? No. Is it Zeus? No. Earth, Arctic, Megapolar? Why does he- he got no business looking this much like Zeus, what the hell? Why? Uh, Frigga1, thank you for the two months, welcome back. I guess it's alright. Washed, it's a little washed. It's not bad though. It's not that bad. Wrong go, okay. We are looking for... A, an effect monster that is not a dark, not an exceed, not a warrior, higher than level 4, more than 1500 attack, more than 1500 defense, and newer than 2015. Uh, 12 mob, thank you for the 13, welcome back, appreciate your prime, thank you for the support. Um, who, who are we picking in recent years? Like a high level uh, something, let's do a... Uh, 
What, what, what do we do? Let's do a Fenrir. Okay. It's a uh, level 5 or 6. And it's not just an effect monster. So it could be Pendulum. It could be Synchro. It can't be Link because it has defense points. Um, What's well, like a level 6 Synchro? That came out after 2015. What, what's the defense on Coral Dragon? 500. So it's not that. What's the defense on Tri Edge? It could be Tri Edge. No, it's not a warrior. Also, the year is off by Tri Edge. Uh, Metaphys Horus? That's 2015. Can't be that. Mm, Stardust Charge Warrior? Can't be that. Not enough defense. Malong? Malong is from the year 9999 in this game, so it's not Malong. Garden Rose Maiden is a dark, I'm pretty sure. Yep, that's a dark. Uh, Raptite? Too much defense. Red Rising is a dark. What about Gold Star Leon? Also 9,999. Come on. Genghis? Uh, that's a fusion. Technically that would work, but the defense points don't work out. Penguin Brave? Not enough. Guys, it's more than 1,500 defense. You have not... You have literally... The last 10 suggestions or something, you have not suggested a single card that had legal defense points. Not one. <laughs> the rate is alarming. <laughs> Kirin? It could be Kirin. No, it's 2015. Uh, want the solution? Not yet. It's not speeder. Let's try and find the let's try and find the attribute. Let's just guess a card from let's guess a light monster from like 2018 or something, just to narrow down the year and the thingy. Let's go, what's a light monster from 2018? What was 2018? What kind of format was 2018? Uh, the Wall, thank you for the six months. Appreciate that. Uh, Ecclesia, okay, sure. 20, that's 2020, but we'll take it. It is a light monster. It is a light monster, and it's from 2021. It's a light monster from 2021. So how about that? That, that should narrow it down a little bit more. Light monster from 2021, level five or six. Not an exceed. Level 5 or 6. Could be Ritual? It could be Ritual. What's like a... Ars Ar uh, Ars Arctics? No, they don't have Rituals, do they? Luna Light Wolf? The hell is Luna Light Wolf? 2016. Chad, give me the solution. Whoever knows it, whoever's done it, I, I, can't, I can't do this anymore. I ha I've tried. I don't know what the card is, I don't think. Uh, I've, and, and every single one of your guesses is literally illegal. Yeah, whatever this is. Whatever this is. Washed. We, this was washed, but this was collectively washed. This was collectively washed. Like, the amount of... The amount of suggestions that straight up just didn't work based on the information on your screen was, uh, was also alarming. Blaming chat classic? Listen. It is what it is. <laughs> that is in a Duel Links deck? Well, yeah, well, if you knew that, why didn't you tell me the card? <laughs> Streamers should be able to get it without chat. See, the thing is, I, I don't even know this card existed. Um, and so in theory, you're right. And I, I try to think about it without reading chat. But sometimes I have this feeling, the more I think about it, that I don't know what the card is. And I personally think that this game is not very fun when you don't know what you're looking for. When you, because then it's genuinely impossible. If you don't know what the card... If you don't know the card, 
then this game is just completely impossible, which is why I have suggested uh, that they remove cards that no one knows from the pool of cards. Like, they, just, they should just use, like, popular cards, and that'd be more fun. But, um, yeah. It is what it is. Sometimes we just have those days. It's okay. All right. <laughs> remove all the cards I don't know, thanks. That's not what I meant. <laughs> that is not what I meant. That's also not what I said. <laughs> Thank you for the 1000 bits. Appreciate that. Uh, look, the, you guys are overestimating the, uh, the impact that I have on Konami. That was a meme. The, the, the last ban list had so many of the things that I suggested uh, on it because they were good changes. They were just being based in that moment. That was not, that's not because, you know, you guys, that, that is not what, that's not how it works. That's not how it works. That being said, uh, support for those Sphinx cards would be kind of cool. Um, there's a funny story. I, there's, look, to all the Yugi boomers out here, I have a question. I have a serious question regarding those Sphinx cards, right? Uh, if you played back in the day as a kid or whatever, right? Tell me, some, tell me I'm not the only one. When that thing came out, that movie pack or whatever, right? That had all the, had, that had the Sphinx cards in it, right? Was I the only one that I, I went to the store, my mom bought me one pack and I thought I had broken the matrix because I pulled like all the hollows in one pack because that was the first time ever that I had opened a pack that, uh, I, that, that, didn't ha that had guaranteed multiple hollows. And I felt like I was the luckiest kid alive because I thought it was like a misprint pack uh, the stuff that you dream of, right? Like opening something and it has all hollows by accident, right? And I, I went crazy. I was like, oh god, I can't believe this just happened. I pulled whatever, how many ultras it is in one pack. Dude, I can't be the only one, right? Rarity collection in shambles? Yeah, but like back then we didn't have that. Also, I was like, when did this come out? Like, when, when did this release? 2007, maybe? I was like 11. Uh, hold up, I'll check. It released 2004 in August. I was eight. I was eight years old. I thought I had broken the system. <laughs> Don't say Olge. <laughs> okay, anyways, fun story aside. What do you think about the possibility of other archetypes being released far earlier in Master Duel than they should be, like Snake Eyes? Um, I would argue that the way you phrased that is not correct, because you said earlier than they should be, to which I answer uh, is that they should all be released at the same time between TCG, Master Duel, and OCG. Um, I'm still living in this copium world where I want this stuff to be uh, released at the same time for all of the games. Um, because there is nothing that I hate more than Master Duel and the TCG specifically being too far apart. Uh, I want, I want the, the ability to, to play a deck in the TCG and in Master Duel at the same time. Because then I can, uh, you know, I can test and all that kind of stuff on Master Duel. That'd be really cool. Uh, it would also make it a lot easier to, to create content. Like from a content creator perspective, for example, what we did yesterday was really, really cool. Like the ability to go to a, to a regional with, a, with the, I mean, it was the Paleo deck. So obviously those cards are all super old. But the ability to play the deck in, 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 T, in the TCG and then go ahead and play it on Master Duel on stream on the next day to give you guys some gameplay of the deck that I made uh, for the TCG is really, really cool, right? And so the closer these two formats are together, the better it is for, I feel like, everyone. Um, but Konami doesn't agree, apparently, for some reason. But not the SP combo? Yeah, the crazy SP combo wasn't available. But, like, you get what I mean, right? Like, the, at least the principle is the same, right? At least it works, but yeah. 
So my, to, I guess to still answer your question, uh, it's I, I think it's cool when they release cards early in Master Rule, but I would still prefer if they just did uh, did it at the same time always. Wouldn't Konami want to make a TCG simulator? See, that's the other thing, right? I th I feel like um. We, we expected that with Master Duel, right? We thought we were finally going to get a simulator. Now that it's basically confirmed that it is not a simulator for the TCG and it will also never be, uh, I wonder if they're thinking about it. I wonder if they're considering making their own simulator to be able to play and test. Um, I think it would be a phenomenal thing um, if they did. But, I mean, that's just... that. For, from our perspective, I feel like that's a given, right? We all want it. We all want a, a simulator for the TCG from Konami's, like, official side, right? Anyways. Um, uh, it's just, at this point in time, we just have to wait and see if it happens at any point. There's nothing but Cobium, right? Hard to believe if they haven't done it until now. That's the thing, right? Like, if, if they didn't think it was necessary for 20 years, I, I guess... You know, I, I feel like one thing that could have changed their perspective on it maybe was the pandemic. Because during the pandemic, it uh, would have been phenomenal to have that, right? And so maybe, I don't know. Reach Master 1 with Paleo today? <laughs> okay, <laughs> great segue. Uh, first of all, if we did try to, to reach Master 1 with Paleo today, that would that's not possible because if... Uh, we have like a couple hours ahead. We would maybe be playing like three games with Paleo. <laughs> the, the deck is way too slow. And also the win rate isn't that great. Uh, I think it, it would be possible to make Master 1 with it, but it would take forever. Um, so, but great segue. Let me tell you what we're doing today. Because I noticed, I noticed that recently, recently I've been a little bit too, uh, too much, uh, I, I've, I've, I've done a little bit too much of throwing for content, you know? Like, we, uh, we've we been playing uh, friggin' Paleo decks on stream and Master Duel. We've been playing all kinds of different things. We've been, we've been wheel gaming, where you guys have forced me to play stuff like Flu and Stun and, and all that kind of stuff, which aren't really actually good decks, right? And as a result, we've been playing a decent amount of Master Duel this month, but we haven't even reached Master 1 yet, because you every every once in a while, I just have to, like, throw away my win rate with playing Stun and, and all that other stuff. So, uh, we'll be, uh, we'll actually be playing a little bit more serious today. I'm booting up Master Duel as we speak. Uh, no wheel, no Stun, no, no weird stuff today. Uh, we're just playing a couple of good decks until I maybe get bored of it. If, if that happens, then maybe we'll play some more fun stuff later. Um, but I do think there's some fun meta decks in Master Duel right now. Like, we're not going to touch something like Super Heavy Samurai, uh, obviously. But there's other stuff. Um, Paleo Regional List when? Uh, okay, so there's two options. First of all, I already showed that on stream yesterday. Um, but there's a YouTube video about it coming out. I believe it's today. Uh, yeah, today. Um, so... All you need to do is uh, type exclamation mark YouTube in the Twitch chat right now, and uh, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel, and you will get a notification when it drops later. Because it's going to be today on YouTube. Uh, Tiger, thank you for the tier 1, and Yannick, thank you for the 10. Appreciate you guys. Thank you, thank you. All right. Josh Remix, 300k now. Every time I can almost afford it, it increases again. It hasn't increased... For months. <laughs> it has not increased for months. We've been... It's been at this. And also... You do not... Do not look at me for, for that. That is not my fault. That's not my fault. Give it back? <laughs> Dude. You guys know... You guys seem to have forgotten what happened. Where's the Ray remix? I mean, we could add the Ray remix. But that would... I mean, maybe. 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 It's a da it's dangerous territory. It's it's dangerous territory. <laughs> okay, anyways. We are let's dude, 
See, this is what I mean when I say throwing for content. I go into my tech editor and this is the first one. We clearly have a problem. Okay, so what we're going to do... What we are going to do today, I thought as a as a as a as a start, we're gonna we're gonna revisit the current master duel meta and maybe play some of the decks that did well in the duelist cup, um, except for the super heavy samurai decks because I don't like those. So what I have open here in the back is I have Ryan Yu's post open on Twitter, who won the duelist cup again with the uh, labyrinth, which is an interesting list that we might try. Uh, the only thing that I'm not sure about is I don't think I want to be playing the Performa Pals because um, these are very heavily targeted at Super Heavy Samurai and I, I don't remember playing against that many Super Heavies. So I think, uh, I think we can cut the, the Performa Pal uh, Rainbow Magicians for something else. Um, but yeah, we can try this one. And then there's also the list from Task, uh, you know, the... Tiaraman's strongest guy, uh, who's been playing the Cash Chira Snake guy. So I, I feel like we can we can set ourselves a little challenge. We are currently we are hard stuck master five. We are hard stuck master five. So we can uh we can use a little bit of tryharding. Um let me see what the difference even is between our lists. Uh so it doesn't have rollback. Uh, Ryan's list doesn't have rollback, which is interesting. Uh, it has Gamma, which I think is okay. Gamma with an Omega and a Driver. Uh, ooh, not that. Uh, no rollbacks. No Ice Dragon's Prison. Three Welcome Lab. That's interesting. Uh, it plays Called By and Cross Out. And it doesn't play this, obviously. Uh, and it does not play Effect Veiler. Three Nibiru, two pods, these. Three Imperm, three, three. And it plays Rivalry. Okay. And then it has two of the Performa Pal. He plays one Valor. Not in the in the in the image. There's no Valor. The one that he tweeted. Um, let's just take out rivalry because floodgates are cringe, and we can play two rollbacks. I think that's fine. I think that's a solid. I don't think the extra deck matters too much, but just in case, let's just adjust it a little bit. Plays three Chaos Angels. You know, maybe I should have left the text-to-speech volume at very low. I'm starting to think maybe that wasn't the move to make it actually possible to hear what you guys type into these. <laughs> How do you text-to-speech? See, actually, you know what? I won't know. You you know you don't need to know that. You don't need I don't like the way you you immediately ask that question. Like if you just got a phenomenal idea of what be what would be the greatest next text to speech message. You don't need to know that. You don't you don't actually need to know that. You're you're good. You're good. <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Uh okay. Uh there's a gigantic with downard, which I think is smart actually. Gigantic, Downard, uh, no rank fours at all, I feel like one Baguska wouldn't hurt, and Anima is also pretty good, uh, I placed three Muckrakers, place no Unicorn, place Bright Elf, no Cerberus, That's fine. Okay, let's let's play a little bit of this. I said don't tell him.
Is this serious Master 1 push? I mean, I don't know if we can do it in one sitting because we're all the way in Master 5, but we're, I, I, I do really want to do it before the end of the month. I hate the idea of finishing the month not on Master 1. Not that it really matters, but... Uh, this hand's a banger. Uh, this, this, this. Anima. We don't have Gamma, so we can cut that. And let's get rid of Nightmare Phoenix. Okay. We have furniture with rollback to set a labyrinth trap already. Mm, so I'm feeling like we just get the other trap. Right? We just get the other trap and then we pass on both traps, rollback, imperm, nib. That should be fine. Are Lab not as reliant on the field spell anymore? I mean, Lab was never very reliant on their field spell. There was a lot of builds that didn't even play the field spell. This one does, but there's a lot that don't. It's all, why is it always the first game of the day, man? Starting with... Special Summon Sigma is very sus, though. What does that mean? What do they mean by this? I think it's whatever, though. Like, if they want to go with a Lingaribo first, that's fine. I'm just going to let them cook for now. We have Nibiru. Normal summon diameter. Um, hmm. That is somewhat annoying. Because if they make Alambertian now, they can search circular and they gain an Omni Negate. Uh, I can just bring out this and then make it so they can't respond to my impermanence. Right? That seems good. And then I just imperm the alum version. And if they can keep pushing, I have nib. To cross out would fucking suck on Imperm. They have something. Taylor, thank you for the Prime. Appreciate the first time sub. Thank you for the support. Okay, called by. Sure. I don't know why we just do that. And then pass. Okay, cool.
a ghost ogre. Uh, I can roll back big welcome, bounce it back to the hand. There's no real point in doing that, I suppose. But it's also not bad. Like, it's... If I roll back, copy, big welcome... Nah, that's pretty good. You can dodge Ogre? I mean, if the card isn't there anymore, it, it's, it's not destroyed. Like ogre, if if the if I bounce the lovely to the hand, then it won't it won't destroy it from the hand because it's not the same card anymore. I don't think. Doesn't gamma still pop from hand? You can destroy cards in hand, but it needs to be that card. Like if the card activates in hand and then you gamma it, then you can destroy it. But if it activates on the field and then it's bounced to the hand, then you cannot. Lady opener? Well, yeah, but we have uh, we have a furniture at least. Uh, I don't feel comfortable going for... Do I feel comfortable going for clock? Because... If I go... If I go for clock here, and then I go for the... I can muckraker bring back the lovely. If they have ash. Right? I summon clock. Um, I set big welcome. I activate big welcome. They they ash it. I go muckraker. I discard one to bring back the lovely. And then set the reset the big welcome. Let's try it. We go for broke. Pepe D. They got something. Oh, that's uh, very annoying. We have to ash that. Because that would give them too many draws off of the Muckraker. It's correct of them to throw the Maxi here. Because they know, like, oh, I, ha I have this Muckraker line available. So it was a good um, Maxi. We reset Imperm, this way we have two disruptions. We have the Imperm and we have the big welcome bounce. This still feels pretty good. I wouldn't say it feels pretty good. They still have four cards and we only have Imperm and a bounce and a lady pop. It's not, it's, it's good, but it's not super safe or anything. Uh, sure. The battle phase. Okay. No. Uh, is it worth 
probably worth. Tenpai Advocate, thank you for the gifts. I appreciate that. Very kind of you. All right. Do I just pop the face down? Or do I pop a card? I mean, I know they have a, a card with a graveyard effect. I'm just going to pop the thingy. Cross out. Okay. Cool vibes. We're the best. We are the best. Uh, Rapture HS, thank you for the Prime. Goodbye. The thing is... It's not just... It's also just we are winning more coin flips than with Paleo. Unironically, we've, we've, just, we've just started with 3-1 coin flips now. Somehow the universe just wants me to play meta. Lunacy, thank you for the 17 months. Appreciate that. Eh. It is not great. It is not great. How many subs to play flu? Dude, we just started winning. Don't don't ask me that question right away. I said seriously trying to make uh master one today. Okay, the quem is probably not worth imperming. I could have thought about uh, called buying this guy right off the bat. But I could also... Oh, their hand is just ass, as, just as bad as mine. Alright, cool. Vibes. Set one. Set two. Set three. Ass. Ooh. Engine. Sweet. Um, we shall activate story. Probably pitch the Nibiru. Yeah. And if they have called by, we have cross out. Yeah. It's a very likely card for them to have here. Nice, they don't have two. One of them is super poly. Yeah, super poly is like super likely for them. It's a very likely card in their... You know, in the, what they would have here. Um, is it welcome or is it big welcome? Welcome doesn't really achieve anything. It must be big welcome. All right. Um, do I summon this lovely? Do I summon this lovely now? They can super poly into what? Masquerade? Do I care? Not really. Do I really care if they super poly into a masquerade right now? Quare it? I mean, quare it is the same thing. Do I really care? I don't think so. I'll summon it. They cycle this. That's fine. I can't call by it. Because I cross out at called by. So they will get the draw here, which is a little dangerous, but 
This Maxi would probably be better on future turns because I also had Stovey Torby. That is a huge draw. That's very bad for us. In the long run. This is like really good. The Serenir. I, do you think they play any Synchros just in case? No way, right? I don't have to play around like Baron. That's just unreasonable, right? Cartesia. Okay, now they can make Grand Guignol. That's a problem. With Super Poly. They have Super Poly. So what do they play? They do play Chaos Angel. Okay. Okay. So chaining the imperm here gives me a couple. Okay, they have another imperm. That's so. They have all the answers, man. I didn't expect them to play Chaos Angel. Oh, the imperm is in the called by column too. Oh my god. Yeah, no, I'm leaving. That was fucked. Couldn't you use Big Welcome first to check for Ash and then use Called By? Uh, I, yeah, maybe. I'm, I just didn't expect this much non-engine from Brandon. Because normally they don't have... I guess it made sense though. That this is the second time. Lovely is in hand. This time we can't even discard it because we want to discard the rollback. Okay. That's not great. That's not great either. That's just an FTK right there. Time to ruin it. Uh, I mean, we're not playing against Snake Eyes, surprisingly. I guess all the Snake Eyes are already in Master 1.
60 cards. That's what I thought. It's that kind of day. They milled... Uh, <laughs> they milled furniture piece, rollback, wanted other furniture piece, cool clock, welcome labyrinth, big welcome labyrinth, uh, transaction rollback number two. They milled everything. Like that, that grass was like plus seven. I don't think this is winnable anymore. I don't know how I'm supposed to outgrind this graveyard. Getting sacked real hard today. It's okay. It's part of the it's part of the game. It's whatever. Also, Dragonborn, thank you for the two months. Appreciate that. Uh... Um... Mm. Probably this. Activate this.
Yeah, we lose that. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Not a good day for lab only if you're game playing it. I mean, it's just a couple games, man. It's ha it's fine. It happens. It's all right. <laughs> I mean, at this rate, if we have this kind of luck, we might as well play Paleo Striker or something like that, because it legit doesn't matter at this point. If our opponents draw like this, it's I guess it's irrelevant what we play. <laughs> Not the Sword Soul. Uh, I think Ashing this is good because Ash is usually not very good against Sword Soul. There's not very many high value targets for it, so. Uh, Electro Checker, thank you for the Prime, and Bubble T Size XL, thank you for the Prime. Uh, that's the other card that Ash is okay against, but that's fine. The question is, I think we imperm what they summon here. I think we imperm the Moyi rather than gammaing it. Because uh, it means we can hold Gamma for Ash. And we can also Gamma Long Yan, but you can't Gamma, you can't Impern Long Yan. Uh, something we can do here, which is potentially interesting, is we can keep the welcome labyrinth for our turn and then maybe if they ash it we get to gamma on our turn but we're locked into fiends anyway it's, it's probably fine though so we want to do it in draw phase because we don't want to get effect veiled on something. Yeah. This is sweet because we summoned a driver from the graveyard now. Called by and driver would be so funny. We know it's blackout. Which makes me want to go for lady. Uh, lovely. No, lady. It was the right one. I think I go for lady here. Because if they blackout, I chain. Yeah. Sweet. No matter how bad your day is, all you need is one sword soul opponent. Even if your hand is complete ass, that's gonna that's gonna pull you back. That's gonna get you back in, in lane. Uh asparagus Benz, thank you for the prime. Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Yo, is that 20 bucks? Thank you so much. Uh, Agent Runic, I actually, <laughs> you're gonna laugh. 
You're gonna laugh, but I have looked at that. I have looked at that at some point in the past. It's a while ago, but I have looked at it. <laughs> I can't say I have not. <laughs> um, the I think it's fine. The, 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 the truth is, I've told you this yesterday already. The truth is that you can throw almost any good tuner engine into Runic and they're fine. It's a mirror match. Okay. I thought about leaving called by in hand, but it's just not realistic to do that. It's just not great. Uh, I, I don't remember what my issue with Agent Runic was, though. I think it was that it didn't have that many great starters because it was just Agent... I think it's just Earth that you want to draw. There's a searcher for them, I think. I don't, I don't remember exactly what the problem was. What did they said? Welcome, Lab. Uh, so let's... Let's do something here. Let's activate Welcome, Lab. See if they chain their Welcome, Lab. They do. Okay. That's smart. That's what they need to do. But that's fine. Hearing you speak German in the Hand of Blood video was so weird. Yeah, I hear that a lot. I hear that a lot, a lot. You can speak German, I am German. <laughs> so yes. Yes, I am capable of speaking German. No weighing? Yeah. <laughs> no weighing. Do I use my big welcome here right away? Probably not. Set one. Ku clock effect. I think I'm just called buying the Ku clock. Because I don't want to deal with none of that shit. Because they also probably only play one, so if I do that, it's gone forever. I like that. It puts a lot less pressure on me this turn. Like, I can just vibe now. I, I don't think they can really do much at this point. And I can just use my big welcome in the end phase. Because I know this back row is probably a big welcome labyrinth. So I can... If I want to, I can pop other stuff. Go here. Chain here. Yeah, this is... This is, uh, not good for them. You know what? I like setting Imperm in the column of this one. Uh, go Ariana. Bounce this. 
Back to pop. Back to summon back. Uh, and honestly, let's draw a card. We can set this immediately. Pop this. Special this. And now we basically have this on lock because we have imperm for this back row and cross out for this back row. And driver in hand, so we legit cannot be stopped. Tribute summon it! Tribute summon it! I was going to pop that anyways, I think. Oh, it's rollback that they wanted to activate. Okay. We were born ready for this. And I'm... Then um Will you build Tenpai when it comes to Master Duel? I think Tenpai is uh, very strong in Master Duel. Because that deck, I think the only downside for this deck is that people can really easily side deck for it. In uh, in a best of one scenario, I think that deck is going to be very good. You're going full lap today? No, no, we'll switch it up. We'll not play the same deck for um, for every game, no. We'll swap at some point. Will you try Unchained with a new card? Uh, which new card? Are we getting a new card for Unchained? Has that been announced yet? I don't, I don't know exactly when. When is the next pack anyways? I don't remember when we get an update. The 11th? Oh, that's like two weeks. Okay.
Well, that's not the right matchup to not draw a single hand trap. We've been drawing Nibiru left and right, by the way. Against every single deck where Nibiru isn't good, we've drawn Nibiru. And here we are, staring down the snake eyes. Uh, and Nibiru is nowhere to be found. Okay, they didn't search Jet Synchron. That's good news. We have a really good hand is the thing outside of not having a hand trap. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I, I want to, I want to stay and see what happens, but like, it's not, I don't think it's, oh, what is this? Okay. Oh, they have field spell too. All right, sick. At least they didn't have wanted. So there's no draw at the end of it. So there's two unknowns in hand. We'll see what they end on. Big think. Huge think. Are there any plans to make a Deck Doctor stream? Yes, that's going to happen at some point again. We haven't done one in a while. We also, I don't think, have ever done one for Master Duel. So that's also happening. The, the truth is that in the last couple of weeks, uh, I haven't had much time outside of stream to focus on what I want to do on stream, uh, which is unfortunate. Uh, so there hasn't, uh, the, there hasn't gone that much planning into some of the stuff that I've been doing. I've just kind of been going live and doing my thing, which is okay. I enjoy that. But uh, uh, the next couple weeks are looking a little more... I have a little bit more free time. And I plan to use that on some content planning and that kind of stuff. I'll also... I'll be live this Friday for a Challenger Cup that I'm hosting. Uh, and it still has a couple spots left in case anyone wants to join. So you get a bonus stream this Friday. And I will also be streaming during uh, all of the American YCSs that are happening. I'm going to be streaming for YCS Rally. I'm going to be streaming for YCS Indianapolis. All that kind of stuff. Because I have the time for it. These upcoming weeks and months. That's cool. Are you planning on doing other remotes against other, other content creators like you did with Pack and Farfa? Absolutely. I have actually, I have good news. My, my overlays... Uh, were sent to me this morning the new uh, the remote overlays and stuff like that I have to set it up in OBS and all that but probably starting next week we can do some remote again what do you think about the Ashent deck uh, I'm waiting for the new wave of Ashent support but so far it's not that good Uh, Bobby, thank you for the seven months. Appreciate that. <laughs> okay, thank you for the bits. Appreciate you. Dude. What is going on? Ah, yes, Promethean Princess. Good card. We figured it out. Congratulations.
They might time out. We'll see. I have no idea. I, I have no idea how much time they've used up. But it's uh it it was very long. For a very standard combo that would probably possible to do better, but Oh, they haven't even normal summoned yet. Okay. I wonder, is that like just a pit night early that you make on top of this? Okay, so there's only one unknown in hand, right? It's the weird snake eye trap and then one other card. Which we have cross out for in case it's a hand trap. So that's okay. Okay. Sure. Uh, the Paleo deck list we did on stream yesterday, and the YouTube video is coming out today. So just go if you if you want to if you don't want to miss it later, just go exclamation mark YouTube. Uh, link to the YouTube channel is there, and then you'll you'll not miss it. But I'd also it's probably gonna be uh, done by the end of the stream, so I'll just send you guys over then, probably if it's done by then. Okay, two sets. Alright. Bop bop. Um It's probably another big welcome, even though we already have one. You know what? That's probably going to be live this turn, though. I, I can probably nib them in my main phase. Because this is one. The Link Summon is going to be two. The Revive Flamberge is going to be three and four. And then Princess is going to be five. I can probably nib them this turn. It's probably not even bad that we drew that. Which is crazy. It's crazy that that's probably the case. Uh, here. I mean, they do probably make Apple. Maybe not. Maybe they go for... Um... Mm... I think Goose Guy is great anymore. Uh, let's do... Oh. I'm kind of interested in this, the Ruma Karma Cannon. I'm kind of interested in it. I don't know... <sighs> If I can survive this long is the problem. But I am kind of interested in this card. Let's take it just in case. I don't think any of the other stuff isn't even that great. So like, let's take the Karma Cannon. And I mean, now we just do this, right? Uh, that's the best cross out we're gonna get. There's no other thing we can really cross out, so... It's not like the Stoby Torby is super important here, but... Uh, Vonto, thank you for the seven months. Appreciate that. Stoby is zero attack, yeah, okay.
I mean, if they make Apple here, though, can they, what can they do against my Karma Cannon anymore? Huh? Huh? Destroy all monsters in the main monster zone. Dude, what do you guys think about doing a, a stream where we just, where I evaluate your craziest runic ideas? Because I feel like this happens almost every day where someone just, uh, just asks me, hey, what do you think of, what do you think of penguin runics? What do you think of witchcrafter runics? What do you think, you know, maybe we, maybe we should do that. Maybe I should do that. <laughs> Thank you for the bits, Toxic Rain. And Amaterasu, thank you for the 100 bits. Dude, what was that game anyways? Okay, if we win this game with Lab and we... Uh, let's try to let's try to rank up with Labyrinth and then we can swap decks and play something else. Just so we get like different meta decks in there. What do you think of Runic Stun? That's a different... If It's a difficult one. Okay, this hand is good. I'm not going to say which card really hurts us so they won't have it. See, if I said I hope they don't have Imperm, they would have had Imperm. So that's why I didn't say that. Some Vanquish Soul maybe? Uh, that is absolutely possible, yeah. You can play Vanquish Soul. I have a friend who builds runic voiceless and the deck is kind of bonkers. Okay, there we go. Rank up with Labyrinth. Easy as that. People just leave. Okay, cool. Good, we're back on track. We are back on track. Um, let me see. This was the other Duelist Cup deck that I wanted to try. Let's do it. The thing is, I want to take out a nib. A nib hasn't been that great for me. Uh, I want to make it 40. Play Vanquish Soul, you will draw Raisin. We'll play some Vanquish Soul today too. Uh, okay. This actually works. This is actually fine, because the oak can float into ash.
Oak is in the graveyard. So I think how does this change what I do here? Uh it's like use this. Yeah. Summon this. Do not use the flamberge in the graveyard. Make IP Mask Arena. Uh, chain link one flamberge. Chain link two poplar. Placing flamberge in villain trap again. Yeah. Bring these two back. Haven't used oak yet, so brings it here. They have nip, I think, but it doesn't matter. Uh, do I need to summon the poplar? Uh, princess, flamberge. Technically, I don't need it. But, I'll uh, summon it. I, uh, if, I, if I wanted to add it, I should have picked Ash. I'm gonna go through Link Aribo. I'm going to make Promethean. They're bluffing nib. I mean, it's not even it doesn't really make sense either, because like I don't care if they nib me is the thing. Oh, they have bell for this. Uh, Sure, I guess that's what it was. They weren't really bluffing anything. They just had bell. Could Apple use Link Rebo to protect? I'm not a big fan of the Apple lines because I think they're very weak to talents. And in these spots, I genuinely don't think it matters that much if you get nibbed. Because you still have the... You, they lose the nib from their hand. You still have the Flamberge IP set up. I think it's good enough. Is Paleo your favorite deck in Macedo right now? I mean, I don't know. I I, I I like playing I like playing it, but I also like playing good decks, you know. Can turn this into an apple. Don't think it's necessary. Time for evenly? Uh, I mean, I guess. But even then, I actually don't think we're losing, funnily enough. Because we just keep Flamberge with Princess in Graveyard. We have Maxi in hand because we're good like that. Well, they have Ash. That's okay, though. They must have drawn that. But that triggers Unicorn. And they lose Princess.
How many fast responses do you have? Uh, okay, so they're playing the heavy synchro version with Elf. Get rid of that princess. Show me that extra. Lullaby. Cash tier of Fenrir. Interesting. Um. Okay. I do have that. Uh, add it to your hand. Uh, not yet. Why is it in the heat soul? <laughs> Why is it in the heat soul column, man? Yeah. Oh, so Ravis. See, this is the thing. If I just make Apo here, a massive Apo, if they have talents, it's a problem. So I'm not going to. End of the main phase. Just to clear the IP masquerade now, we guaranteed survive. What's the alternative? Just making a big apple and lose to talents. Do we lose to talents even? Is the thing. Because what can they do? Talents take apple. Nah, we don't lose to that, do we? Don't think we lose. What do they have? What do they have? Yo, Arcticide! Five gifties. Appreciate you. Thank you so much for the support. You're amazing. Thank you. Oh, it's called by the grave. Okay, that's whatever. It's a dude. Why is it here? Why is it here? Oh my god. I didn't even realize. Not that it matters. They were losing anyways, but why is it? Why is it there, dude? Why? Come on, man. Oh god. That's wild. The royal imperm is magnetic.
Can we see the list? Uh, yeah, I can try to remember after this game, which probably means I'll show you after like five games because this is how long I, this is how often I will typically forget. 60 cards means this maxi has no chance of resolving. That's two for two now, by the way. That's the second 60 card deck today and the second time there's a grass and the second time I don't have ash. Guys, guys, they've milled two called buys and two ashes. Surely this works.
<sighs> dude, when is it my turn, man? <laughs> Come on, dude. You've activated five cards in the end phase, dude. Sick, I kind of need a, a monster to extend with the one for one. Is it worth using Imperm on Quiritus? The thing is, I actually don't really hate Branded. I also just don't like it and I think it's just getting... I'm just tired of playing against it. It's been two years. But I don't really mind it. Dumb question, but how does Branded play around Maxi? Uh, they just draw Grass and Ash in 60, as, as presented by my opponent right now. So yes, it is a dumb question. Just draw like that every time. Don't know what the issue is. Ray goes to Pelia. What? Um, nothing in the graveyard. Card in hand is branded fusion. Okay. I got oak. Is that OT? I'm not sure if it's OTK. I am not sure. Don't lose to Albion secret effect. That's not a quick effect. That's a, that's whatever. Oh, you mean Aluber, right? Uh, do they have a fire monster? They do have Ash. I push one back into the spell and trap zone. 
I make Hita. Ash, revive too. Should have made Anima first to take the kit. Mm. Why not take the token? Because the token, um, the token dies anyways to Zalantis. There is no Aluber in the graveyard. If I had Animad earlier, it was actually game. It's... Oh wait, it is still game. Incredible. <sighs> well, <clears throat> that was their own fault. That was their own fault. Save that duel. I mean, I don't think it's that crazy. Because uh, it's like, yes, it's cool. But it's more like because they didn't play it very well you know uh i need to go to the toilet real quick i'll show you the list uh while i'm gone i'll be back in a second
Oh, I was muted. Amazing take. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Dude. No, what I was saying is I was referring to someone in chat saying, uh, Pete Ash, the artwork is actually worse than regular one, but the effect, the animation is crazy. All right, anyways. It is what it is. It's just the uh, the the alternate artwork. The uh, it it humiliates the opponent. It just dances around their card when you negate it. It's crazy. Does branded fusion need to go in master duel? Yes, no, Joel. <laughs> okay, sick poll. Can I stop drawing oak? The rest of my hand's pretty good. Oh no. Nice. Hey, I'm, I, the thing is, I don't, I don't have a branded list, and I don't love branded. I don't know. Okay, easy clap. You know what we can do? We can we can play a different deck for each step of the way. You know, because like we've played uh two two master four, we've played lab, we play mas we play cash snake eye cash to master three, then we play vanquish soul to master two, and then we play something else to master one. I think that's fine. We're not playing stun to master one. We're also not playing math mech to master one. Uh, I am, um, I think we place Poplar here and we just sent the Poplar for the Witch. I kind of want to keep my Veilers just in case I get stopped because the, the Diabell Star is my only line of play here. If they have Imperm, I can't call by that. And if they have imperm, which they didn't, but if they had ha if they had imperm, we could have passed like this, and we would have been able to go Valor, Valor called by to possibly survive, and then Temple summons out the Poplar to give us follow up. Um, the only thing now is we're gonna be weak to Nib, no matter how we do this. No matter how we do this, we're gonna be weak to Nibiru. Uh, we're gonna send the witch. And we will not allow that. Because we are mini gamers. That was very bad for them because we haven't normal summoned. They 
they have nib too. That's gonna be annoying. We could theoretically play around Nibiru a little bit by placing something into the spell and trap zone with Flamberge now. Um, which at least gives us follow-up. But then we won't have IP Masquerina. I think that's worth it, honestly. I think that's worth it. Because if they don't have anything... Yeah, we still have enough. I think that's worth it. To put an ash here. Yeah. I have two effect veilers, so I don't need the IP Mascarena setup, I think. Uh, we can go for Sunlight Wolf instead. I'm not going to add anything back, I think. Yeah, I'm not going to add back. Uh, still not. I don't think we add anything. Maybe I shouldn't have gone for the... So, Promethean... Yeah, this setup is fine. We could add Poplar and summon it. No, you can't. Sunlight Wolf doesn't allow you to do that. So against four cards, we have Valor, Valor, Promethean. I think that's good enough. Or should be, hopefully. Even though he didn't have Nib, we consider this the right play. It depends. I, I It felt correct to me to, to go for a less powerful end board. They are playing super heavies. The question now is where exactly do we Valor this stuff? I feel like since we have two, I think Valoring the normal summon is fine. Because if they have extenders, that brings our princess, that makes princess live and all that. And you can't Valor the Vakaushi, so like... This already... yeah. I think that was worth it, respecting the Nibiru there, because it's very likely if you see Ghost Orgo that it is Super Heavy Samurai, which is most likely going to be on Triple Nibiru, like... Two. It was two. Yeah. Okay, one more win to Master 3. Imagine how fast average games against Super Heavy were in Stage 2. That was probably one of the main um, reasons to play the deck yourself as well, because it was very fast. Okay, 60 cards the third time. No Ash the third time. Stare. Lost the coin flip for the third time, by the way, against 60 card decks today. But uh, this time it seems like they don't have grass, because they would have probably already slammed it. Very nice. All right. Cool. Up.
Effect Veiler. That's fine. Valor in 60 classic. You can't complain about every card that a 60 card deck draws, okay? Like there even 60 card decks decks are allowed to draw an opening hand. <laughs> Is there any reason you not you don't activate wanted in draw phase? Yes, because it's most of the time incorrect to do so. Because uh, most most of the time when you use these kind of cards in the draw phase, it's because you want to play around Droll and Lockbird. However, if you already have uh, like normal summon Snake Eye Ash, if your opponent has Droll, you can just chain the wanted to it, and you don't want your opponent to know that you have the Diabell Star as an extender in hand because they might use their hand traps or interruptions differently. If they know that you have the Diabell Star Extender. So you don't want to show them that you have that. The only time you use Wanted in Draw Phase is if it's your only starter. Then you do that. Because then you want to play around Droll and Lockbird. Hmm... So if I see Wanted in draw phase, I Ash, you could make an argument for that. This is where some mind games come in, because if you want to bait, um, if you want to maybe bait an Ash Blossom, maybe you start with Wanted to make your opponent think it's your only play, and so on and so forth. You see how there's levels to it. But generally, there's a high chance that if your opponent is playing like standard combos, and if they activate Wanted in draw phase, um, they either don't know, or they, uh, they don't have another play. But you never know for sure. I would say. It is risky though. You're right. It is risky. Um, I yep. That was to be expected. That's fine though. They will survive, but we're going to have a good position. Okay. So here, once again, we have two options. We can go really risky because... Snake Eye Ash is negated, but we could still use it to send the Flamberge and revive two. That would put us to three bodies, and we could make Promethean with that. Or we just attack them and make IP Mascarena. And then when they summon, Temple summons Flamberge, IP into Unicorn, I think that's better. That's the safer route. We can still do more, but I don't think it's the right move here. Why didn't opponent wait to called by the Flamberge? What you don't understand is that the button was yellow. The button was glowing. So I don't know what you want him to do. It is indeed a brandy. Oh, if they summon with what? Okay. That should be enough. That should be sufficient.
Ja, okay. A milled serenier. I have to call it by that. Because otherwise they will get retribution and branded fusion. They don't have branded fusion in the graveyard. What they do have is um, they have branded in white. So they can still Albion send retribution and go for branded in white. Fusion Summon, Hand or Field. You can also banish from the graveyard if you use Fallen of Albaz. Okay. So we have to go Unicorn and banish the Branded Lost, I think. Uh, and shuffle back the Branded Lost, rather. They have Albaz in Graveyard, that's the thing. I, I, otherwise I could, but they have Albaz and more Albions in the Graveyard, so there's no point. Wait, we have hella follow-up. I'm inclined to say that it's going to be fine, but we'll see. The fact that they drew grass out of all things is still crazy, though. That's like the one... Even Branded Fusion wouldn't have been as bad. If you Subversion... Yeah, I don't, I don't play Subversion, but that is true, yeah. What can I say? I'm just, I'm just good at this game. Adds another Albas to hand, but what does that do? They also didn't mill Lubelion. So that's cool. Chaotic Synergy, thank you for the five months. It's going well, as you can see. We're, we've been climbing. We've been playing serious decks today, so we've been we've been ranking up. I don't think we've lost a single game on the on the Snake Eye technology. Uh, yeah, we're on a 9-win streak. Regardless, let's swap decks for the next stage. Uh, let us do... What did I say earlier? I said Vanquish Soul. Let's do some Vanquish Soul gaming. Uh, let's see if I need to change anything. Uh, we've got Shifter. That seems good. We've got Crow and Bell. Those seem good at the moment. Lots of Branded. This is also good against Lab. Uh, no, this is... This seems fine. This seems fine.
I'm playing double Pantera for Durandal. Uh, you can. I think it's also fine to play the Cash Terra cards together with Durandal. Surely we'll draw a Raisin this time. Right? Right? Right. Fifty five cards, okay. All right. So the question is, do we activate the prosperity this turn? Probably, right? Mm, let's go. And we go, we can't draw sadly. I could burn them for 750. Which one do I want to turn into the rock? I kind of want raisin back in my hand. And then I do want to bounce this back immediately because it would go into the hand anyways with Snow Devil and I don't want to be stuck with no Vanquish Soul on the field just in case. Just in case they go ahead and special summon uh, and just and like imperm my rock. And since they know I have Raisin and Maxi, I might as well burn them for 750. Why not? They know I have these cards anyways, so alright, so whatever. Bop. I want to draw one. That is dead, unfortunately. I'll shotgun the maxi. Okay, nice. Uh... I'm only slightly confused. What is this? You have to like... If you have three counters, you can search a Kaiju. 
And if this card would be destroyed, remove a kaiju counter instead. So they're doing this. Reveal ultimate crystal. Okay. Uh, I'm lacking a fire. Or, like, if I... I guess it's... If it's Jiaolong, I can pop with Raisin, but then I can't pop with Caesar. So I guess it's Earth? And then I said, I can't pop with the Raisin here, is the annoying thing. But I do kind of want to... I do kind of want to deal with this card. now search a kaiju okay well they just get another one i guess oh no what was that golden rule okay dude what is happening Why is there a waterfront? Where, where did the spring guns come from now? I'm assuming this would search uh, Regulus anyways, which would be an Omni Negate. So I'm just getting rid of it. Okay, whatever that was. It's always so scary when, uh, when you don't know what's going on <laughs> with your opponent's deck. Whee! Okay. This was 55 cards. Checklist? I mean... Guys, it's just a 55 card pile.
Why don't you play TCG anymore? What do you mean? I went to a regional two days ago. And we did the deck profile and all that on stream yesterday. I st very much still play the TCG. This hand is... This hand was sick going first, by the way. Going second into Cash Tira, Snake Eye, not that much. Yeah. Especially not if they open Unicorn Ash. That's probably not winnable. They will play into Bell? I don't know. This is a new playlist? No, it's the same. This... We do not... We do not build that. Maybe if they play into it and we can build the Flamberge or build the Masquerade... Uh, build the... Uh... Uh, princess. Was that from hand? I'm not sure. The thing is, belling this doesn't really do anything because they just make Promethean but then they can't get the Promethean into the graveyard because what I was thinking is they have enough material to make um, Promethean but they can't bring back the unicorn with birth if they do that and then they have Promethean brings back Flamberge, puts IP in the spell and trap zone. Ah, but then they, because Temple is up, they bring out Flam. Yeah. No, we can't bell here. We have to bell the princess, yeah. If you don't bell, they make apple. Uh, yeah, but I guess that's easier to beat, actually, than the other combo. I think, in theory, uh, we can beat this board if there's not a crazy hand trap behind it, like Maxi. Maxi's unbeatable here. Uh, maybe we can beat an Ash Blossom, but I'm not sure about that. But, like, just Princess in the Graveyard could be okay. Because we have a pretty good hand. We have Raisin, we have Steak, we have Mad Love. Like, our hand is pretty good. Our hand is pretty good. It, it depends a little bit what their hand is. If there's a maxi, I'll say it right now. We can't beat this. But, like, if, if, if there's not, then maybe. Pit Knight early. Oh, is that Cybers? Oh, it is. Okay. They go Heat Soul here, probably. Okay. Well, that makes hand traps more likely, but it also makes killing through Maxi a little bit more realistic. We'll see. Okay. 
The bell was actually quite good here. Cash Tira Snake Eyes don't open Unicorn every game challenge impossible. Yeah, they always open Unicorn plus Ash. Okay. We can out Maxi if they have it. Mm. Let's begin with Raisin. They banished Rock, right? Yeah, they banished Rock. Let's begin with Raisin here. Oh, this is the wrong Ash, right? Uh, I, I summoned it into the zone of the unicorn because I don't want to blow up the the heat soul. Actually, it doesn't really make a difference because it, it it can co-link my stuff. That's what that was what I was thinking. Like it gives me an extra zone. I can like co-link Phoenix into it, security dragon stuff like that. Let's pop the unicorn. Summoning Jiao Long here is good. Probably here. So theoretically, theoretically, if we can deal 3000 damage, uh, we can win over two turns with Borger Burn. That might be the game plan. If we can somehow sneak 3000 damage, I'm not sure how. I guess we don't have to do that much damage, right? Because we can also get the trap card. Um, oh. Oh, that's so bad. Look how it walks over my card. Oh. No, we needed that. We definitely needed that.
I don't even know if it was possible if that resolved, but we definitely needed that. Rancor, thank you for the 11 months. Appreciate that. Banlist surely today. Must be. Cannot be any other day. Okay, we're in the coin flip down spiral again. Hand is good, though. Can't complain about that. Not okay. Kill them. Stake your soul, reveal Caesar, special Pantera, pop the back row. One, two, bounce, bounce. Four summons. Attack. Four, 55. Burn. Once. Burn second time on their turn. It is, it's game in four summons. The set is imperm. So the reason we don't chain the Raiden there to pop the thing is because that opens us up to Imperm now and Valor. Well, Valor anyways, but Imperm. Now what we can do is we can activate this here. They can't Imperm it because they have cards.
And now because we're in the battle phase, we can even try to go for game this turn. Because nib is no longer possible. Nice. That was a cool puzzle. Didn't know you can summon Zhao in battle phase. Uh, I mean, of course, it's a quick effect. You can even summon it on the opponent's turn. Okay. Um. Zhao Long. World champ always opens Raisin 2024 colorized. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what, what's happening. Because normally that's not how it goes. I never have it. It's weird. It, feel like, it feels like the Matrix is glitched. Uh, I'm not going to shotgun Max Seek, it's my only Earth. And I don't really want to raise in for... I could raise in for Valius, but... Eh. Um, actually, I'm going to Jiaolong... For Valius, maybe? Okay. Guess I won't. That's fine. That's probably better for me than if they imperm the rock, so I'm, I can live with that. I'm not sure if you're supposed to shotgun Jiao Long anyways, but... Okay. Fenrir is slightly annoying. But it's okay. It's probably Snake Eye Cash then, right? It's before the end of the main phase. Do I kill the Fenrir? I lose rock. Kind of annoyed by this Fenrir, though. I'll kill it. I still lose the rock, but I keep Jiaolong. I also have to show them hella hand traps, but it's okay. You can summon Raisin and pop it with him. Yeah, but it was in the same column as my rock, so... That would not have done anything. That, you know what? That could have probably been predicted because they didn't search with Fenrir. Um, shot, probably should have shotgunned Maxi, but... Yeah, 
Yeah, let's say I was playing around Gamma. Let's say it like that. Do I Ash Unicorn Search? Probably, right? Birth is very annoying. I will Ash it. Oh, they're linking. Okay. What do I have even? Oh, I have my own Ash. Okay, sure. I wasn't expecting that. I thought they would just tag out. They probably have called by because they had a response window earlier and they didn't use it on Ash because they know I have Maxi as well. Yeah, that's smart. But I still am wondering what the point of this is. Like, you go Promethean Princess, revive Oak? And then what? Promethean doesn't target. So if I crow the Oak, they can bring back... No, they have nothing. No, they can bring back the Hita. But, like, that's just not that great. They do know I have Crow, and they also knew about the Maxi, which is why they probably held their, uh, their called by. Yeah, there's Promethean. That's whatever. Doesn't target, but I still take away the Oak. I don't want them to be able to tag out into Flamberge and all that. And the Oak is also a one up so it's gone forever. That's good. Last card, original Sinful Spoils. That would be good, yeah. That would cook. If this is destroyed, it brings back a link. Let me draw. Uh, I'm not sure if it's warranted because the main reason that people play it in the in Master Duel is Maxi. Mm, if I just pop it, it brings back Hita.
No more fire monsters for you. That's chill. Uh, Luke Tyler, thank you for the raid. Hope you had a good stream. Uh, I've already used this one. Don't have an earth. Uh, special one from the grave. I mean, I really only need... Alright, let's take this. Because I just attack them here. And then all I need to do is set up a Borger burn on the next turn, which I easily can with Jiao Long plus continue. Right, they just die as soon as they move. Orger burn needs earth fire. Let's wait. So we need to add an we add an earth here. Now we don't even need to play around imperm at this point. Because if they have imperm, they have nothing else, so it's irrelevant. We can just go for it, and if they have imperm, it's irrelevant. Because then they have nothing else. Gamma? We can Ash Gamma. Brap. Oh yeah, we had tag out anyways to dodge Imperm, but like it, it, it wasn't even relevant. Dude, I wasn't ready for 24 months. I, but I, you are right. I have to do. <laughs> I'm the idiot who drove his PC around. Yeah, appreciate the 23. I have to think of something for the two year people that are coming up soon. Okay. Good hand again. Thank you. Baguska pass? I mean, yeah, if they Baguska pass, that could be a problem. But at least the max maxi resolved. Oh. They're not stopping. Interesting. Okay. Maybe they just search follow up and then pass. I could see that. There's no way they go for it, though. Unless maybe they play a version like FTK or Calamity Lock. Apparently, they have some... Okay. No, dude.
Oh, they had Gamma. Okay. We don't play Nib in this deck. We do play Crows, Bells, Ashes. There's no way that's worth it. You have got to be kidding me. How do we out that? We like Druis Worm it, right? There's no way that's worth it. Okay. The there's two ways to get this Druus Worm into the graveyard. Number one is Chaos Angel. Number two is Tribute Summon Dimension Shifter. Pro Chaos Angel probably better. <laughs> but Tribute Summon Shifter way funnier. You double bell my... Okay, I was about to say. What do they have, though? Some, there, was, there was something. Oh, is it Effect Veiler now? Is, like, Effect Veiler live? It must be Effect Veiler. Has to be. So if we chain this properly, we can also banish the scale. Chain link one, Chaos Angel, banish this. Chain link two, Druus Worm, sent the Baguska, and that means we get rid of the Benke. You veil it to save your scale. Okay, cool. I mean, yes. For sure, go ahead. Oh, cage business. Can't you just bounce Baguska with Mad? I could do that if Baguska didn't have an effect, but then it wouldn't be a problem, you know what I mean? Like, that is kind of the point of Baguska, that it stops you from using monsters. Okay, no Raisin though. No Raisin. Uh oh. That's pretty good though. Hand might not be as good uh, against this technology. Um, what the hell do you ash against Trap Tricks? This gives them the whole Atea. 
I think that's Ashable. I don't know. Sarah, but I have Maxi. So like I'm I, I'd rather have them go into Sarah and play into my Maxi because I need draws right now. I have nothing. If I Maxi now, they just set. If I would have maxied now and they just pass and set a bunch of traps, that's not very good. What is going on? There he is. Uh, we need another Earth Monster, right? Because we can special Pantera. Uh, to pop the back row. So, that means we have to banish Borger. To get Valius. Uh, Jojo check. Thank you for the 18 months. Appreciate that. That's one and a half years. Thank you. So they contribute their Strena now to, what is this, take control of it, which means I chain Valius here, and I also chain Crow to stop the Strena from activating. Augers. Okay. Uh, we have summoned once, twice. Three. Don't know if I want to play into Nib here. Um. I mean, I just kill over two turns though, right? I just go... Effect. Uh, chain. That pops field spell. Four summons. Battle phase. Attack, attack. Burn. Hoggle on. So here it's only, they need like Imperm, but even if they have Imperm, they still have to play through Ash. Rage Gamma? I have an Ash Blossom in hand. You're mentioning outs that are no outs even. Is there anything more cringe than mentioning an out that doesn't even work? <laughs> like...
or you just do it in their main phase one i think that doesn't work because if i if they normal summon a rekka monster they have princess to negate theoretically right that's why i shotgun it oh this hand is not great this is our rank up game Unfor i mean the hand is good it just doesn't have anything for going sec okay Uh, how is the Mikanko matchup? How do we deal with... The the non-targeting thing is okay, right? Because we have Valius to pop. How is Vanquish Soul treating out this format? It's actually doing quite, quite well. We've been, we've been doing solid today with it. Mad oh, Madlov is also really good. Yeah, right. Okay, so they banished this. Okay, I see what's going on. Okay, they search a trap card now. They search rivalry. Rivalry is the one that equips from deck. Okay, and that's it. Okay. That surely is a vibe. That is not really a vibe. Okay, guys. If I just pass... Seriously, though, what happens? It's Mikanko, right? Surely, nah. Nah, you go. Nah, I'm calling Cap. I'm calling Cap. I'm not dying. Uh-oh, I might die. Oh seven. Both players take battle damage. Oh, this works even without a monster. That's fu okay. Target an equip spell. Add it back. Dude, if I had Crow, it'd be so sick. But... I mean, one double-edged sword on a zero attack monster is 4,000 damage, right? So how do they do 8,000? They re-equip. Oh, I see. Okay, so they ah. Okay, okay, okay. I see what I see. What's the thing? Okay. I see what I see. What you're doing? Yeah. So you go with this. You bounce after you battle. You bounce the monster so that the equip spell dies, and then. Uh yeah, you bounce this. The equip spell dies. You re-equip it. Yeah, I see. Okay. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, I don't think the alternative... Like, our hand isn't great. I don't think we can really play into it, so it's alright. Cringe deck? It is cringe, yes. But that's okay. It's it's a maxi issue. It, it, was, it wasn't a Mikanko issue. We would have been absolutely fine if it wasn't for maxi. Like, whether it is... Uh, like, what happened now isn't more cringe than any other deck making a board and backing it up with Maxi. It's the same thing no matter what deck does that, right? Like, uh, in, in some ways, it's even cooler than, like, Snake Eye doing it because at least it didn't take 20 minutes in that sense. So in that sense, it's whatever. Uh, let's banish the bell. Yes. And Pantera gets me to Raisin, right? Because they only share the level. I'm always so nervous when I resolve it. Can I also take... What's the defense on Raisin? 
Raisin is 1500 defense, right? So I can also use Valius. Because I would rather banish one Valius because I play two. Yeah, I can use Valius. Fuck. They never do it when I have the punish in hand. Unfortunate. It's still good. So, uh, a few options here. We can go for Heavy Borger, draw a card. But I think the best is probably get the trap. Probably the trap, right? Surely it's the trap. We're not that addicting, uh, addicted to drawing cards. There's no way. And here, I don't think it's worth to shotgun Jiaolong. Doesn't seem like it. Like, we risk Gamma, random stuff. It's okay. That is fine. To an extent, that's fine. Um, I could special summon out Raisin to pop it. I don't hate that. I kind of don't want to deal with Unicorn. I don't really care about the extra deck rip. We do need to chain this because we don't have two fires anymore. If I grab Borger, I don't have a second Earth to use Valius pop, so it's probably Pantera. Because I would rather have a guaranteed pop than... yeah. They take away my Zeus, that's fine. Uh, what do you think of Pancratops in Vanquish Soul? I think it's a fine card. But I, I don't like how dead it is when you go first. In like a best of one scenario. Okay, they said wanted. That's good, because that's another card I don't have to worry about now. Jet Pitch Original. Uh, I mean, yeah, I don't care about that. Can't make a Savage with a Negate. Kind of whatever. On another note, I could go Valius and pop the Jet Synchron. What could they have in hand to punish that? Nah, I wait. There's no wait. That's not scary. Crystal Wing? Crystal Wing needs a Synchro. Yeah, Link Karibo just, okay. That's... whatever. Hmm. 
Weird. Very weird. Set one. If I just pop the back row now, no. Wait, if I just summon values, pop the back row. No, I don't need to pop the back row. It's fine. Rock hidden effect in three, two, one. Realization. Main phase two. Let's go. Did you react to the new card? Dude, it's a vanilla. What do you want me to say about a vanilla monster? All right, let's go. Let's rank up to Master 2 with Vanquish Soul. It's actually been going rather smooth. Like, we've lost, like, two games with the Vanquish Soul. It's pretty good. So much Raisin. Yeah, that's true. We've been drawing well. And as I say that, I don't have Raisin anymore. The hand is still good, but there is no Raisin. Out of all the hands you can have that have no Raisin, though, this is definitely one of the better ones. This Imperm is kind of unfortunate, because this is the second game in a row that I get Impermed when I don't have Borger or Valius. This is like a su this is such a risky Imperm. If I have Borger, they just lose the game. Uh, but okay, well. Uh, if you had to recommend a rogue deck to build for the future, what would you recommend? So when you say to the f for the future, okay, dude. When you say for the future, do you mean like something that is okay and will not die on a ban list anytime soon? Or, like, what do you mean? This is a uh, wrong Imperm, by the way. They should Imperm on their turn to stop me from summoning out. Dude, every single game is against this <sighs> Cash Tira bullshit, man. Uh, I don't know. I would say Vanquish Soul, just because we're playing it right now, is probably something that comes to mind. I'll just add back, honestly. I'll let him banish my rock. I don't care. Um... The thing about Vanquish Soul in the TCG is that it's rather expensive, I feel like. For no real payoff. I don't know if it still is, because it's not very popular. Right? Unchained, maybe? Look, there are a ton. Unironically, there are a ton of tier 2 slash rogue decks that I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, there's no chance that they get hit on the ban list. Literally, pick anything, I feel like, that isn't specifically... Snake Eyes, Branded, uh, Voiceless Voice, or Flu. I feel like everything else should be safe. Maybe Lab. Kashira. I mean, uh, Shifter decks. Dude, they're throwing hand trap after hand trap at this thing. Um, shifter decks always have a chance to get hit, I feel like. Dude, I'm being soloed by one Fenrir. It's actually so sad.
Always the rank up game. Yeah. But the thing is, like, the hand traps didn't even matter here. It's legitimately just the, uh, the fact that my hand is so bad. Right? And the fact that they're not playing is actually bad for me because I would probably get draws off of Maxi. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, I can't, I can't let him have that, though. Do I rather bell? I'll bell this. So they have two unicorns and probably one or two hand traps. And all we need is one raisin. One playable card. Even Borger does it. Take your soul does it. I mean, unless they have more hand traps, but like... Oh, that's not good. So the problem is if I ash this, the board is empty for Unicorn again. Um, and they just go, yeah, no, I have to maxi this and hope it goes through. And then ash the, ash the snake eye ash probably. Uh, Zacher YGO, thank you for the tier 1 sub. Appreciate that. Uh, they've, <laughs> they have stopped me religiously from finding this card, so I guess that's a win. Okay. Okay, so hear me out. Hear me out. What if I... Can I let them cook for a bit more? I need more cards. I need more cards, right? How bad is it if I let them get Poplar? They add follow-up and passes? You don't think they go for game? It's Poplar. I mean, I can Ash the tag out effect. I'll probably be okay. Yeah, they go in. Nesh, you don't understand Master Duel players. They go in when they can. I really don't. Yeah, you think about this too logical sometimes. To be fair, though, if they have, it depends on their hand. If their hand is two unicorns, uh, if they, if they might just lose from their perspective if they don't try to go for a game. I think I agree with them, actually, in this case. I think in this case, it's realistic that going for game here is the right play. Because if they are out of hand traps and they just pass on a Snake Eye Ash, I probably just gain full control of the board. And this probably just... This is enough to kill me, isn't it? No, I die, actually. I should have ashed. I, I had to ash the ash. Because now they just bring back two in attack mode. And I die because of the field spell boost. Right? That's just, that's just enough. Yeah, I had to ash the ash. And hope I draw something good. That's 57. Yeah. Unfortunate. No rank up. We have to keep fighting. <laughs> Who Nick Rountain? Okay. Thank you for the eight. No, we're in loser's queue now. Uh-oh. I didn't see the Flambers line. You, my, you always underestimate the amount of damage that they, these little fuckers do when the field spell is up. Oh! It's shifting time. Dude, every single game. Every single game. It's so fucking annoying, man.
every game they start with a freaking cash Chira card. You would think if there's one Fenrir and three Unicorn that they wouldn't draw it every single game. We might be able to kill them with Kurikara next turn, because the Unicorn is going to activate. Eleven months of trying to get Josh to stop playing Runic variants, dude. I haven't. Yeah, you're right, Booble. I haven't brought the uh, Runic to a single YCS this year. So I don't know what you're on about. Okay. Mm, banish Orger or Raisin. Normal summon raisin. Summons out flamberge. I'm not sure why. If they, I really want them to use this Flamberg and summon out this Poplar, because then this Korikara is gonna freaking slap. I have a feeling they're not going to, but it would be nice. Yeah. I mean, there really is no reason to do it now, to be fair. And now, the unfortunate thing is, in order to search with Jiaolong, I have to show them that I have Kurikara. Which is just a slightly inconvenience. A slight inconvenience, rather. Maybe they won't look. We're quick with it. Right now, summon Kurikara, pop Flamberge. Is it game with Burger? Kurikara, uh, I think it is. Hold up.
Mm, no, it's not quite game. It's very close. Very, very close. But I guess this has to be it. I mean, at this point, they have to go in, I feel like. Hmm. That's good. It's the end of the main phase. What? Yeah. Don't mind if I do. Bro, yeah. Nah, they had to go for a game here. I know it was hard for them to, to win this turn, but they had to try. That's not a winning play, what they're doing right now. That's That's not right. That is not right. Uh, I might even save my Jowlong here with Caesar to destroy the Unicorn. Because it's battle phase. What's going to happen? I might as well save it. One more. Sixty cards. Oh, God. Well, if it is branded, we have Crow and Magna. That's good. It is branded. I can't let them go to main phase and then Magna, right? That doesn't work to play around talents. Because in the end phase, they get priority to activate, right? I'm a, I'm a little scared of talents, but I think I have. It's too good to do this. They have thrust. The thing is, they use Nadir Servant, so even if they have Thrust, they can't, like, do anything too crazy. They can't, like, Branded Fusion or something. So I think it's okay. Oh. Classic.
Yeah, that's 4-4-4. Four, four, four. four games against 60 cards today. Four times grass has resolved. Oh, that's a lot of purple shit. Okay. They milled this thing. Which is adds back to hand, but it's garbage. We they have retribution, banishment, Cartesia. Okay. I think it's better to just grow, grow the target for banishment rather than the banishment itself. I could also crow the Cartesia just to get it out of here and just search a Druid Swarm with Magnemute to check the banishment. Nah, Cartesia I don't care about. Um, if I go raisin, Now, I can pop the Quem. If I pop the Quem, the Druid Swarm is not a quick effect anymore. But I have Crow for the Banishment anyways. So I pop the Quem. I make the Rock. I can use Continue to act Raisin back to hand and Jiao Long. So I need a Fire here. I need a fire, yes. Hmm. That's rather inconvenient. Droll in this economy? I mean, it's still a game. What does... What does Banishment even target? Isn't it a... Isn't it a... It's Despia plus... Despia or... Yeah, so right now they don't even have a target for it. Uh, so I'll just banish... It can't target Albaz, correct? Like, if I target this Albaz now, they can't chain it. Yeah. Okay. 
So this is just enough damage, and if they activate the banishment, I crow it. They have something. Oh, they have a surrender. Cool. I was gonna say, like, a bestial could still stop it. Alright. We've made very solid progress today with all the three decks that we've played. Who would have thought? Who would have thought that if we play serious decks for once, uh, we actually climb the ladder? It's weird how that works. It's weird how that works. One hour, five wins. No, we can't do it today. We can't do it today because I'm ending a little bit earlier today because I have uh, an appointment at five. Um, but I have, a, I have an offer for you, which is that because we're not going to reach Master 1 today anyways, we can play, uh, we can play some goofy stuff for the last, uh, like, uh, like the la probably last game, honestly. If we queue Paleo right now, it's probably the last game. But I am down. broken hand it's got everything it's funny because in the tcg if this actually is cash tira in the tcg cash tira is a really good matchup for this deck uh in master duel because of a rise art it's probably unwinnable oh yeah it's cash tira uh oh Pick Maxi! Pick Maxi! Well. Yeah, a rise heart is not outable. Dude, we're losing all of our progress insta. It saves some time. Going first, that matchup's winnable. Not going second. 0-7-7 seven, seven win streak. I mean, that's what I, I said. We're playing fun decks now. Also, we immediately start losing coin flips as soon as I touch this deck. This deck is cursed for me. It's D rank time. It's not that serious. If we uh, if we just sit down for another um, session with good decks, we'll we'll show, we'll make it this week. Okay, maybe not math mech. Weird stuff is happening. Oh, <laughs> okay, that's very funny. Yep, that's very funny. Our hand is really bad. So maybe it's still losable, but this matchup is really good. Unless they go for some uh, crazy stuff with... I think Blackwing can go for stuff like... What's it called? Um, Kali Yuga, that, which pops all your back row, but... Blackwing has a weak matchup in the trap decks. Yeah, it's like the standard end board. I mean, quote unquote standard end board that they make. All of the stuff is only good against monsters, which is very funny. It's going to take a while, though. So how's live chat going on on your mind? What's on your guys's mind today? 
How is school? How's work? Everything all right? I have a cool deck idea I want to test for the TCG. What is it? Josh, I have to play another three months of Fire Format. I'm so sad. Yeah, 07 to all the OCG peeps in chat that have gotten a ban list after five months of Tier 0 Fire that is going to result in another Tier 0 Fire Format. 07. Floodgate Lab? Dude, that, how is that an idea you want to try in the TCG? I'm going to try Floodgate Labyrinth. What a great idea that is going to be. What a phenomenal idea. Revolutional, revolutional stuff. Dude, things are happening. For sure. That's the towers, right? Oh, no, that's, that's not the tower. Wait, you, you synchro summon that? Aren't you supposed to summon that from, the, like, banishing the stuff from the graveyard? Do they normally synchro summon that? I feel like they don't. Look, I saw your paleo deck and thought, what if paleos were good cards? Okay, that's, that's hurtful for no reason. You're not wrong. But you didn't need to say that either. You guys are enjoying the, the new text-to-speech way too much. Nah. You guys are enjoying the, the new text-to-speech way too much. I have to do something about that. I, I should have never given you that tool. I still don't get how to do it? Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. What do you mean it was a quantal burn? Still, the nah, same thing. <laughs> no, I'm thank you for the three months. Appreciate that. Welcome back. Thank you for the prime. That's the towers now. A royal towers is still gonna die to a regular karma ken. All right, lose that. Okay, cool. Sick. Noted. Balance of judgment. Okay, that might come in handy at some point. Um. Yeah, cool vibes. I think what we're going to do is set, 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 pass. The problem is that our hand is complete garbage.
which is in fact a problem. But surely balance of judgment is going to save us next turn. Borea Storm the Wicked. Are they locked into darks right now? Do they ever play Baron the Fleur? Sometimes, I guess if that's the thing is, if that even if they do play it, they do. There still is a uh, two out of five chance that they hit rollback and that we're completely fine because of that. Sick. Always the middle? Yeah. So, well... I guess we can hit another Karma Cannon here? Or of a Boku. That does work. <laughs> uh booble thank you for the thank you for the 420 why am i drawing three rollbacks I mean, now they can just pattern negate that. Yeah, we actually lose. But that's only... That's because our hand is so criminally bad. Yeah, we die. That's actually unfortunate. That's, that's actually really unfortunate. That matchup is almost unlosable. If it's not double transaction rollback in 60 cards. Alright, I'm calling one more. Lose and you will lose a rank. Sick. Sick. Three paleo games, three lost coin flips. All the progress is lost. Sick. Love that. It's actually so cursed. Master Duel doesn't want you to play rogue. They want you to play meta. If you play rogue, you just get Omega destroyed every time. All right. Paleo to Master 5, let's go. <laughs> nah, we'll probably just make Master 1 tomorrow. We will win this. No, we can. It depends on if they have jets, jet synchron access or not. Uh, if they don't make two Omni Negates, this is very winnable. Not playing Paleo? No, no, we won't make Master 1 with Paleo. The deck isn't good enough. Oh. Although, all those matchups that we just lost were probably wins if we went first. Unironically. But, we didn't. Okay, so they've used the original to get the Snake Eye Ash. Uh, so now, if they, don't, if they didn't hard draw Jet Synchron, they won't have Omni Negates. And that's going to be winnable. 
especially with grass reasoning. We have we're gonna have a stacked graveyard. Just played into Nip for no reason. Noted. Take notes, chat. Okay, you also don't need that body on the field. I don't think it does anything. They definitely could have gotten Jet Synchron with the with the Snake Eye Ash if they wanted to. They definitely could have. Okay. Interesting behavior. The cashier up birth is actually quite annoying. Uh, yeah. We have to hit rollback with these. Because if I'm going to activate grass, then we're going to activate birth to banish three. And then we're really going to need rollback to chain to it. To get something going. That is, this game is winnable. It's going to take a while, but it is winnable. Uh, especially if they don't have ash. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We milled three rollbacks. Um three rollbacks, Karma Cannon, Ice Dragon's Prison, Trap Trick, Backjack. Yeah. What the hell was that? Banish all three rollbacks face down is so criminal, dude. Um, the question is, what can we trap trick for? I don't think we can trap trick for much. I can just copy Karma Cannon. So Thule and Kolias are gone. I have two Lost Winds. I have a Bokus for next turn for the trap. Okay, that's Karma Cannon. Uh, ooh, Olenoids is really good. I don't actually think we reasoning here. Because I really want that. I really need to pop that birth. Yeah. What do I have? 
Trap tantalizing tune. Oh, this doesn't shuffle, right? This is just bottom. I can put a transaction roll back to the bottom. That's good. Put that to the bottom. Fuck. One. Two. Three. You know what's four? End. Backjack effect. On the noids. I mean, at the moment, they don't have a. Chain this. IDP their princess for fun. I would like to use ADP here in this matchup, but uh, I think it's only good if you can banish and they don't have another fiend at the moment. And they also don't have... If they had the second flambush in the graveyard, this game would probably just be over at the moment. Like insta. I don't actually need to... I don't actually need to... What's it called? Voboku. Yes. Uh, Vonky Moose, thank you for the seven months. Okay. Let's get rid of this Link Karibo. <laughs> Paleozoic Opa Binia, thank you for the gift sub. They didn't even use Flamberge. Am I crazy? Why did they... Eh? Okay, they don't know what they're doing. Or they don't have time anymore. That's not... I don't I don't actually like this. I, I would have liked them to play better because I think this matchup is... We win this game even if they play well. And I would have liked to showcase that. But okay. Well, we take down Snake Eyes. We do not de-rank at the very least. This matchup's actually fun. If they don't start with two Omni Negates, this matchup is very manageable and very fun to play. But okay. All right, guys. Um, I have an appointment in about 30 minutes, so I have to get going. There's no shot we get another game of, uh, of, of Paleo in. A um, couple things I want to say before we head off. First of all, obviously, thank you for watching. Second of all, we'll be back tomorrow. We're going to finish our climb to Master 1. Um, I also have a Challenger Cup on Friday that you guys can still sign up for. I want to make sure it's full. Uh, so that means I'm also going to be live on Friday. Uh, and also, exclamation mark YouTube in the Twitch chat right now because the Paleozoic deck profile from the TCG from my regional last weekend is going to be uploaded today. So you guys don't want to miss that. Uh, other than that, appreciate you guys for hanging out. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Let me see where I can send you guys. Um, who is live? Who is live? Oh, MBT is live. Okay, I'll send you guys over to MBT. Uh, hope you guys enjoy MBT stream. Hope to see you guys again tomorrow. Uh, hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the support. Everything as usual. Um, I'm just yapping because there's a countdown until you can actually raid. <laughs> okay, it's over now. See you tomorrow, guys, everybody. Peace. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.